teeing off after an unprecedented break. Golf is one of a handful of recreational sports which were back in modified business today. As with all other clubs, here at Highgate it is socially distanced with no access to the clubhouse and no rakes in the bunkers. Pairs have to book their slot, but for the members, the main thing is they are back. Absolutely fantastic. I can't tell you how much we've been looking forward to this day. Today should have been the spring, the spring meeting for the ladies. And obviously it's a glorious day. And although we're sad it's not the spring meeting, we are all just delighted to be back. Today is the day in England where the advice changed on general exercise. People can now go out more than once a day and train responsibly. How much have you and everybody been looking forward to today? For me personally, it's, it's massive because I can, I can not only train myself, as in get out and do my own physical exercise, but because now I've got unlimited um, amount of times I can get out, I can obviously train the young people that I work with as well. But in terms of meeting up with extended family, not everyone is convinced it's workable. So you'd rather not risk it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you know, it's not through choice, really. It's through having to. If the kids could stick to the, the regulations, it'd be fine, but they can't. Along with basketball and tennis, angling is another sport and pastime which has received a qualified go-ahead. It follows several weeks of lobbying. 80 to 90 per cent of angling can, uh, within the guidelines, within social distancing rules, carry on uh, without any risk at all to uh, spreading the contagion and that's exactly what we wanted and that's the argument which I'm delighted that ministers accepted. Here at Reading and District Angling Association, regulars like Josh are relieved. It's more than a passion, it's, it's my life, you know. I, I fish every weekend, I fish after work, um, overnights as well. It's, it, it's, been, it's been hard work. His wait is now over, but the big task now for all these clubs will be how to balance the huge demand with social distancing. And they really don't want to blow it, hook, line and sinker. Simon Viger, 5 News.